Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be unboxing the SD Cross Silhouette Syscade Titans Color version. Now it's been a while since I've taken a look at one of the SD Cross Silhouette kits. I skipped a bunch of them just because after reviewing the first couple, the Gundam and the Nightingale, I'm just not really all that interested in the line. They're pretty cool kits. And if I were a big fan of SD kits, I would definitely enjoy building them because the two that I did build were really nice. Uh, but the Syscade is a design that I really, really particularly do like. I wish that we would have got this as a, just a proper HGUC kit or uh, an RE100 kit. That would have been really nice. But an SD is what we have for the time being. Now, I do still have high hopes that we are going to get uh, a regular version of this kit at some point. But it does kind of make sense that it did come out in the SD line first, considering that I believe, if I remember correctly, it is originally from an SD game, so like the original design was an SD design anyway, uh, but it would be cool to get it in a, a full regular kit at some point, so we'll see. Anyway, we're taking a look at this. It did come out in the regular color scheme as well, so kind of like with the Gundam Mark II, it has a regular, kind of very regular Gundam sort of looking color scheme, and then it has the Titans color scheme. I just went for the Titans color scheme just because obviously it looks more cool, I think, in that dark color scheme. With this being a mono eye Gundam, one of the very few of them, but there you can see it's got a mono eye and it also has a really huge, ridiculous gun, which in SD form is not really as impressive as it would be in just the normal form, but it's still pretty impressive even in SD form here. So let's get into the kit. Uh, so, a lot of stuff to look at here on the box. So, number one, let's just take a look here on the side. This is number 10 in the line of SD Cross Silhouette. Here it shows that you can transform into its high speed cruising mode by taking those parts there from the back, those kind of like wing bits, and like you can mount those around on the kit for that mode. So, that's pretty cool. It has sort of a quasi transformation there. And of course, you can do some cool posing there with that big giant gun. It has the mono eye, which can move side to side. It has some beam sabers there as well. There's the regular frame and the cross silhouette frame for that, or the larger, more articulated frame, you can make it a little bit more movable like that. So I do have one of those here on hand I'll be putting into this, so I'll be able to show you guys what it's going to look like uh, just as the normal mode and then the cross silhouette mode, I guess, or what that is with the CS frame in there. Going around to the top of the box, here you can see what it's going to look like, just front and back there, and you can see a nice exploded view of the head, the parts that go into that, so it's pretty nice in the way of their construction for them, as far as SD kits go, they're pretty good. Uh, and then you can see there's the regular version and the Titans color version. So same kit, just different colors. Not going to be any difference there, especially if you're painting. It really doesn't matter which version of the kit that you get. And then the list price for this was originally 1,400 yen. So a little bit more on the expensive side. Uh, as the other, some of the other ones in the lining were coming out around uh, 1,000 or 1,200 yen. So this one's a little bit more expensive, but again, does have a good amount of parts in there for all the parts for the backpack and then the big giant gun and all that. So. Basically just going to be all regular Titans colors, two-tone blue, yellow, red, and then like the dark gray parts here for the frame. It does have some stickers there, but it really doesn't look all too bad for an SD kit. I mean, it's not to be too surprising. And then here for the manual, you can see just some more statistics information there about the Gundam. You've got some stuff there in English and in Japanese, so you can check some of that stuff out. Probably a lot of people are maybe pretty unfamiliar with this Gundam just because it is pretty obscure. Uh, design. Well, it's a design that I really like. I really don't know a whole lot about it either. I just really like the design. It's really cool. Uh, down here on the bottom, there is some other ones here in the line, of course, the Freedom and the regular Syscade, and then the option parts of the CS frame. Here is showing the gray version. I wanted to get the gray version, but I could only get my hands on the white version for the time being, so whatever. It really doesn't matter. It's just the color of that. Uh, here we do also have our parts list. So there's that there. You can see we will have maybe one leftover part there, it looks like. Uh, otherwise, that's pretty much it. These kits don't use any poly caps, so that's pretty fun. And here you can see uh, the construction, how you're going to build it. If you want to build it in the SD form or the cross silhouette form, you just follow whichever form you want. So if you want regular SD form, you just follow the instructions there on the top. If you want the SD form, if you're using the SD cross silhouette frame, uh, then you use this instructions there along the bottom. And then when we get to the color pages here, there's a little bit more just wrapping that up. And then the general construction, which is unaffected by the frame. So the head, the backpack, the weapons, all that stuff, they're not gonna matter which version of the frame you use. So there's all that. And then just how to mount the weapons around on for the uh, cruising mode, high-speed cruising mode there at the end, the transformation. And that's it, so let's get a look at the runners. All right, starting off here is that sticker sheet once again. So it's really not all that bad. You can see no mono, no sticker for the mono eye because that's actually on a different thing I'll show you in just a moment. But just a few stickers on here, a few white, a few dark blue, one little green one there for the head camera. And that's pretty much it. And here's what you get for the mono eye. You get this nice uh, clear pink kind of circular half circle gem sticker there. 
to go on there for the mono eye. And then SB6 for our clear pink beam saber effect parts. And then, like I said, no polycaps for this kit, so you can just move right on into runner A1 here, which is the SDCS frame 1. So this is just all of our regular frame parts for the SD mode here in gray. And here is runner B1. We've got some red up there in the corner, and then the two tones of blue, the darker blue and the lighter blue color here. And then runner B2 is also in three colors, the two-tone blue, and then our yellow parts just for a couple of vents and the V-fin. And then runner B3 is also more two-tone blue, and then one more little red part there up at the top. And finally, runner C is mostly parts for the big giant gun, but we do have a couple other parts there on there for the hands and a few other parts for around on the kit. But this is in that kind of dark, a little bit metallic gray kind of color, so it's pretty nice looking. So that's going to be it for the unboxing, guys. As you can see, a pretty fair amount of parts in there for an SD kit, but like I said, uh, there is a lot kind of involved with it with the the backpack parts and then the big gun and everything. So looks like it's going to be a pretty cool one. Like I said, I love the design of the Syscade, so I'm glad to build this. I'm just still hoping that we get some other version of this out at some point in the future. But in the meantime, we'll take a look at this. And as always, a huge thank you to USA Gundam Store for making this review possible. Guys, do check the link to their site there down below. Uh, if you are interested, everything from their store, you can get 10% off with that coupon code there, Zucker Release 10. So check that out. Let's check this out, and I'll see you guys in the review. Bye-bye. Hey! Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you want to check the kit out for yourself, you can head over to USA Gundam Store. Use that coupon code ZAKUARILIUS10. Save yourself 10%. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.